Welcome back. The Democratic ticket is set. Vice President Kamala Harris made her highly anticipated vice presidential announcement this week, naming Minnesota Governor Tim Walz her running mate. Now, the pair introduced themselves to voters in Philadelphia. ABC's Jay Owens explains how the final selection was made. Tonight, the Democratic presidential ticket, Vice President Kamala Harris and her new running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, appearing together for the first time. Governor Tim Walz of the great state of Minnesota. I'm thrilled to be on this journey with you and Doug, this incredible journey. The two rallying supporters in Philadelphia just hours after Walz's selection as VP was finalized. A quick process completed in just the two weeks since President Biden dropped out. Sources familiar with the decision telling ABC News Walls was picked because of his background. A popular Midwestern governor, former congressman, teacher, and member of the Army National Guard. <laughs> Harris posting a video of the call Why she made to Wall. I want you to do this with me. Let's, let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. Walls expected to deploy his signature plain spoken campaign style, particularly in criticizing former President Trump and his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Just an observation of mine that I, I that I made. I just have to say it. You know it. You feel it. These guys are creepy. And yes, just weird as hell. That's what you see. That's what you see. Walls' selection receiving a cross section of support from across the Democratic Party, from progressives to moderates. His Midwestern appeal believed to be a draw to voters in must-win Rust Belt states like Michigan and Wisconsin. The Trump campaign labeling Walls as dangerously liberal. Vance holding his own campaign event in Philadelphia, reacting to his new opponent. But I think that what Tim Waltz's selection says is that Kamala Harris has bent the knee to the far left of her party, which is what she always does. Harris and her new running mate now expected to blitz six more battleground states in five days. Introducing walls to the nation. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington. Stay with us. This week continues in a moment and a conversation with Tennessee delegate to the Democratic National Convention, Wade Monday.